And then suddenly, the, when she was like putting in the ticket to like pay for it, it was like 25. And we were both like, ooh, ouch. <laughs> so yeah, I owe her like a dinner. Um, so that's that. So we'll see. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Just tip. Talking. Eating broccoli, getting <laughs> No, I know I mean in game. <laughs> I mean I was checking out I checked out the bods and I'm pretty content now. Anything else? I've probably just played you know we made a lot of noise. We're probably going to get ambushed. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, yeah. Uh Chetmer just like looks down the hallway to where presumably where we're continuing to go. And just checks it to make sure nothing's coming up on us. Roll perception. 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 Again. Again. Uh, where is perception? Nerd. Advantage. <laughs> oh. All right. Good. This. I'm happy you guys are burning these now. <laughs> yeah. Downside is probably not gonna be much down that way. <laughs> or the yeah. Be. There's nothing. That way. <laughs> yeah. Well, she knows um, for You fact. do hear more similar clean cluttering. Mm -hmm. Much with an ad twenty, I could tell you that there's much more, much much, and it's more. much more frequent. Okay, so there, there's a lot more fighting to go. We should genuinely maybe think about like how to position ourselves because we keep getting in the way of each other. I mean, the archers belong in the back, so I'm. Pretty all right. Right. Then Aldrich can kind of jump between either, so he should probably be middle. Dad, what holds over Anne? Hmm. All I got is sword. You should probably be in the front. Oh, I have uh, another crossbow. If anyone wants it. That's not my speed. Kind gesture though. I have three javelins and one trident. I can use the javelins. Alright. Oh, Nevi, and uh, Chenry would give her the javelin of lightning that she used before. Um, if you want. She's like a bit hesitant. I think Miss Danaway could probably use it better than me. Alright. Danaway just shrugs. I honestly don't care. <laughs> I throw it to Danaway. Thanks. Yep. So what do? Um, proceed towards the sound. Yeah. Down, down. By the way, did Mira put the toxins I gave her on her, like, arrows or anything, or no? No. Okay. She has reasons. Well, oh. it's she's saving them. Or that too. We're going down, down. Da 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 da. Oh, I just realized that might be why your tokens were. Oh, they're on a different page. Yeah. That would that potentially. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully, it will stop now. So. Hopefully. I, I deleted them off the turn order, so like they're like there's nothing left on the turn order. Mm -hmm. So you should be good. Da, da, da. It's lagging like a bajillion type. There you go. Oh, where do I? Mm. You know what? I'm actually gonna organize this shit because I can. Uh, I'm just gonna this. do a really shit. Uh, there you go. Lord, so I'm taking so much. A watermelon, noise. right? <laughs> find a giant watermelon. No, you find a room. <laughs> I'm ruining my life. I'm looking at dogs' pictures again. <laughs> Anyways. Both the dogs oh, that are looking for a home, and I'm just like, I want every single one of those. So, dogs mm -hmm. aside. Dogs aside. You guys come into a... You guys see... Coming from around the curve, really bright red light. Similar to the brightness of, like, the, the water room. Water. <laughs> Liquid room. The juice. The juice room, yeah, there you go. The orange 
The fruit punch room. <laughs> that works. Kool-Aid room. Don't drink it. Keep Don't going. Just keep going. You can you can keep more making. Well, more. You can't drink the Kool-Aid. That tends to be how a lot of people spend their last moments. Uh, anyways, you guys come into a room, peering into it. Look at my life. Roll me some stealth. Ooh, nifty. Be I mean, it's been a while. You guys literally had combat, so there's yeah. no way like the stealth is from. We had combat with stealth. something that just exploded. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but apparently we're fine. <laughs> Nevi. Mm. Oh wait, I was like at Danaway. Oh, Aldrich popping off. Danaway popping off with her significant other job. And last name, Mira, who's going to roll shit. They popping off the Oh, <laughs> she good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not okay, bad. So, who's so Mira? She disappears from existence. 12 plus 21 plus 23 plus 20 plus 21 plus 29. Man. By eight. Your average is 19. Dab on. What? I really wish that I had the Pass Without a Trace going, because then she hit 30 fucking 9. <laughs> She never existed. <laughs> Who is Mira? Yeah, so you guys come into this room and you're immediately hit with the scent of death and decay. Which is, I will say, notable that the, all these zombie creatures you found did not smell dead or decayed. Mm -hmm. They smelled like citrus. So now you guys are actually smelling for the first time death rotten bodies and this is you know probably due to the literal dead and dying bodies in plaguing the room they're just sort of strung about oh that's fun in piles not particularly large piles. i'm not talking that this is medieval europe after the plague here i'm not talking i'm not talking world war one or world war two death mass burial sites not by any means it's not to that extreme a number, but there are like probably mm, a dozen bodies in here. Jesus Christ! Uh, a dozen, a dozen stuff? human bo humanoid bodies, and then two uh, do hounds, two dead dogs. There, and you notice that the the twelve bodies are sort of lined up in uh, into stacks, piles. And it doesn't it's not it doesn't take a freaking rocket scientist or you know Jimmy Neutron boy genius to figure out under what classification that these piles are laid on. They're just simply by size. Shorter people here, taller than that here, taller than that here, tallest people here. So something put them there with intent. Something organized them. And then the two hounds are up there. There, other than the entrance you just came in through, there are two other paths leading uh, out of this place. One doing that way, my shit drawing, and one going this way. So, north and south, respectively. Uh, the place is overgrown entirely with, not magically fused, but just a bunch of crystals. It's it's very reminiscent. This uh, crystal chaotic growth is very reminiscent of those like the stretch hallways you guys had way back up there on the map, like those thirty foot stretches filled with just you know hidden bodies. Yeah, similar to that. And you guys think of that, and then you may begin looking for pulsing, resonating, sort of critical heartbeats. I guess so to speak. You don't find any, luckily. This Does place any seems... of them look like Mishka? Roman perception. Where's the mammoth? These bodies are pretty decayed. So you got to do a bit of. Uh, Can I assist them? Backtrack the autopsy work. Keep in mind when you revive something, it does not. It does not retain its sentience. Could I get some guidance? You know, like. I would assist yeah. them. I'll guide. Oh, who needs my assistance? Yeah, you good? <laughs> Still throw a D four on there. Maybe roll again to see if you get in that 20. So do I find, like... Oh, can I roll again? I was assisting. Thank you. Wow. I mean, it's... you said before, I'll allow it. So... Mm -hmm. Doing some How's retroactive autopsy work? I mean, I did that beforehand. Like, like I did that, like, in session two. So. Yeah, but to be fair, those guys were a lot more... Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Zima, you can just tell from the smell and decay. These guys have been here at least, like, two weeks. Oof. The most recent ones have been here at least two weeks. The more later ones have probably been here long- If- much longer. Yeah. Doing some retroactive autopsy work, it doesn't seem that any of these creatures are, like, of Mishka's appearance. Okay. The... I will also say that you guys never bothered checking any of the other bodies. Uh, I think we did one spot. You guys just yeah, carved them open and just sort of checked what makes them tick. Yeah. Might have to go back there at some point. No, guys. but most of them didn't even have flesh anymore. Mm. Yeah, but there's... There were a few. No, the, the, the dregs, the ones that just punched you, they have, they're 70% flesh. Rotted flesh, I'll be it. But as I just told, as I just told Terrence last, Sima, the crystals in them are preventing extensive and rapid amounts of decay. Okay. So they are a bit of a uh, different direction. Uh, can I look up this way to the right? To the right, to the upper direction. Um, that you can tell just from sound alone. That's where more clay and color is. The other sound, the other path is silent. <coughs> <coughs> Get I guess sprint down that way. <laughs> I don't care. Would those creatures count as undead? Which creatures? The ones I'm holding. Like, the ones... The corpses the, on the wall. Uh, these ones are human, like I said. Okay. The oldest looking one. Probably a few couple months old. A few months old. Um... What does it have to say? You do realize animating dead makes them like. Yeah, you don't have. Animate dead is you make them a serpent. Sorry, sorry, you sorry. literally make them to dead, dead is what? Them, like, yeah. They don't the talk one. when they're a zombie. So you cast Speak of Dead. One. Get off my dick, y'all. <laughs> Too much necromancy, okay? <laughs> Can't keep it straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barely has a mouth. What do you ask it? The last okay, time I did a dead person's voice, you guys can understand shit, so it's gonna talk like normal. Yeah, let's just talk. You can just way. throw some fucking Snapchat filters on it to make it sound really fucking <laughs> and drunk okay. and raspy. Does anyone have fucking... some questions? Let me see. What okay, uh, what killed you? The tree. <laughs> the hanging tree. Okay. Um. Um. Bu -bu 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 Where are you from? Oh my gosh. Uh, the oldest one. Do you actually have this written down? Yes. Oh my god. I'm not written down. I just have a general approximation okay. in my mind. Um, oh, just made this so one. Fun. This one's from the twins. How about, I don't think asking if it saw anything <laughs> of, of the things that we've encountered, has it seen anything different from those? Well, here's the thing. My question is, did it die above ground or underground? That's a good question. Well, hanging okay. tree, most likely. Yeah, but did you die above ground or underground? Above. So, uh, have you seen anything of this cavern beforehand? Before now, basically, when you're speaking? <laughs> um, okay, I asked that. Well, the question, have you seen anything in this cavern before you Yeah, died? like, since you died above ground, are you then basically ignorant of anything that would be happening down here? One of you roll me luck. One. Servant okay, of Karim will. There you go, take some take charge, I like that. Karim appreciates it. Although I think Marshall might be Karim's servant. Oh. Yeah, he is. I mean, Seema, you have the Karim coin. Can I do that for D100? Uh, uh, yep, it's the only thing that actually affects luck rolls. I am inaccurate, then. It is the only thing. Inspirations don't do shit, only that coin. Fitting. Let's do that one more time. Hey, That's much better. better. Literally the opposite 
spectrum. Yeah. Literally. Like, you add 20, them together, you get 90. 20 above minimum, 20 above maximum, stuff like that. Never remember which is which. We'll never no. remember which is which. That just keeps it there. That's why we put. The Write it oh, on the coin. Future remarks to you that it's in its dying moments, as it was being pulled up and hung, just choked out. It saw a figure in the forest. I have a question for it. You ran yes. off, but sure. You ran off. I mean, I. Oh, he, him is oh can ask whatever he wants. He's a player. True. I mean, it's your spell. Your questions. Yeah. Can it? Can it describe the person itself? No, wait, wait. Hey. Oh, go ahead. It is the seventh of Ebbing, eleven seventy-two. How long ago did you die? Oh, that's a. That's that's onto you guys. How long ago did he die? Um, is, it still, is it still ebbing? In like a couple um, hours. No, it should, it should be the middle of the night right now. You guys are having... Yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna ask a usual question. Um, what well, hasn't told us? What? It hasn't told us how long ago it died. I didn't ask did you that. Have, yeah, you didn't ask, oh. you gotta ask it. We have one more question. Oh, um, okay. I always ask, do you need us to do anything to put your soul to rest? Any last wishes? Pray for me. I will. Um, Adidly. Well, that was a slightly depressing ending. It hey. cares. What did you yeah. Didn't go very well. Like, you know, All right. Bye, treat you. Um. So, point of order hmm. uh, for a couple of things. Four twenty. Even though sound is emerging out from the upper path, it dims in terms of brightness. It still has a red light, but it just dims. Immensely so. Another thing is that there is a uh, kind of the inverse of that off to the other end. There is a similar bright as this room, bright light down that way. Uh, third is that as you guys have been traveling, or, or not traveling, but traveling down this way, I've been true. but looking in this room, you begin noticing that tree roots are sort of peeking out here and there. So just ridging up above surface, and above dirt and rock. Is if it, I stab we, one of them, probably. does the red liquid come out? Do you stab one of them? Yes. Roll me strength. <laughs> Have to break that bark. It is not a weak tree. And its roots <laughs> are just as solid. A sea of hanging tree. It's and actually there. a 20, by the way. AC of hanging tree. Let's find the segment. There it is. Wait, where? Oh, t -t dumb turn. <laughs> Does pierce? Similar, albeit more thick. Like molasses, blood red uh, sap emerges out from it. Does it attract any of the crystals close by? Let me attract. Like, um, a magnet. It does not, none. <laughs> is, okay. Is it possible for Chatamir to judge it? Light comes from the north. Light comes from the southern. Sound comes from up. Light comes from down. Okay. Well, we should probably <clears throat> keep going, you know, keep going. <clears throat> Hold on. Which way do you guys go? Fill up some bottles. Real quick. Sorry. Um, is it possible for Chadimir to triangulate based on distance traveled and where the well is in approximation with the tree? If we are moving, like, really close to the tree or not? You guys are moving away from the tree. You can't away make from the tree. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, this whole time you're moving away from the tree. Okay. I, as Garth, did not know that. 
The tree would probably be originates like way in the top right direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's going away. far. It has. Anyways, it is. I feel like Marshall is kind of leading us in a certain direction. Well, which way? Cling, cling, cling. <laughs> As you wish. Keep I will away. say, um. Uh, let's see. Who be the the footsteps? The tra the trails I lead into here as well. Um, a very lesser trail goes off to the southern one, and then a series of tracks trail up above, and it seems like they go back and forth. And the one from below never fully steps into the room. So, like, they come up to this room, and then they just... Step. Yeah, they come up to, like, the lip of the uh, archway, and then it goes backwards. Like, here? Uh, more like, more like right, like right around here. Right around there. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, one gets back and forth foot traffic, and one gets... Yeah, one, come up one just back. constantly... Uh, I will say, signs of combat... Go south. Mm -hmm. Well, Marshall, do you and want to fight? Yes, now? combat still continues. Dang, this fight though. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you know, if no one else does them, I mean, I was glad they sacrificed going north. Now, mm -hmm. so as Marshall wants to go up, are you decision? Sure. I uh, I go with it. What does Mira and uh, Nevi think? Um, Mira's an elf, so she's afraid of assassins, so she says self. Hmm, because that's lights. And, let's see. Nevi would go south as well. For reasons I think are obvious. Avoid the fight. Exactly. So. Regardless of your NPC's boats, seems you guys are going to go north. Indeed. North, north, north. As you guys progress north, it becomes snowy. Drawing this out. There you go. That's, that's the Garth quality jokes we came to love. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid the Garth thing. quality jokes. Awesome. Curves. Wow. Eh. Curves. Pipe pack. How peculiar. How And as you guys keep going forth, uh, the tree roots that sort of popped up here and there in that, uh, we'll call it the corpse room, because that's what it was. I'm gonna put a little, little thing there, you know. Make it red. Make it big. Be like... Corpse room. There you go. There you go. Boop boop! Then... Freehand. Change color. Boop boop. Boop boop. Boop boop. Boop boop. There you go. Corpse room. Uh, <clears throat> so... As I was saying, more and more in terms of frequency and in terms of actual size visible of the tree roots begins emerging as you guys go this way. I thought to say, like, you take one step and it's like, yeah, a little bit out, and suddenly a massive gradually does so. And as you guys go this way, away goes the smell of death and decay. And then once more, the scent. More powerful this time of citrus back. Even more powerful. And then you hear, as you guys get closer and closer, you hear the sounds of trickling. Not fully, like, it's not like a river rushing or running or anything. Trickling water. Liquid. Whatever. And the smell of citrus. Do you still see the marks on the wall? No, the marks went the other way. Oh. 
But this is towards the sound of clanging. It is. You guys go forward. Hmm? I am a guest to go forward. Indeed. Unless Marshall wants to turn around and follow the signs of a fight. (laughs) Follow the fight path? I mean, that's Cat. I'm stopping you. I honestly don't care. We continue forward. Very well. Yeah. I gotta draw like a this curve. Sort of curvy. Yes. And uh This is map is not drawn to scale by the way, so don't think wow, we're five feet away from... No, don't go thinking that. But uh so it looks like there's like a like an elbow, I guess. Elbow intersection. No. So, you guys enter into this sort of cr- immensely curving room and are greeted visually. Scent wise, a shit ton of nectar, a shit ton of citrus y, you know, nectar smelling stuff. Uh, in terms of visuals, it is a underground garden? Grove? You don't know. Chinmer instantly says, Eat nothing. Looking at Karis and Marshall. Yeah, Sudden. while you're saying this, Carrie just has like an apple like, close to their mouth. I didn't say there are apples. Chill the, everyone chill the fuck out. Wait for me to finish this. Continue. The wall, the stone wall, the stone cave walls that comprise the, uh, well, the walls of this place are grown entirely, overgrown entirely with either vine or moss, whatever. And there are several trees that sort of just sort of pop up. So like this Alice in Wonderland feel. And there's one noticeable feature for all these. Everything here, save for the water that trickles through this tiny stream that sort of runs current through this place, everything here is this pale gray. And the water is red. The vines, the moss, the trees, the tree leaves, it's gray. If uh, Chanamir, like, grabs some of the... There, is there grass? There's grass, yes. Okay. If she grabs the it's... grass, does it feel, like, normal? Or does it feel, like, ashy or something? Uh, as you, you know, touch the grass, it feels like normal grass, if a bit chalky. Like there's almost like you a... You release a powder on your hand. Residue. She would like to... Uh, if there's, like, a bush, she would take, like, some of the leaves from it and put it into, like, a little vial or something. There is, like, some hedges and stuff. You come up to this hedge by the river. Trees about and stuff like that. The room, this entire curved room itself is not small. But it's, like, it's sort of like in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where they go into that room and tie me. Except obviously there's no fucking candy here and no Willy Wonka. Or worse, it'd be fucking Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka. Ugh. It wasn't that bad. It was very not the OG Willy Wonka. Well, Moving on, though. If it was Bites, if I didn't know what the original was, sure. I know what the original <laughs> Willy Wonka is, though, so it could suck it. Absolutely. Uh, so as you come up to this, Chetamir, why don't you make me a dexterity saving throw? Hey, I got a cool shield. With disadvantage. Ah, that's even better, because I wasn't expecting it, right? You weren't expecting it from the sounds of it. You sort of went up and did it. 14? Oh, wait, was that a natural 20? I feel insulted. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> isn't that... Isn't that... Ain't that some shit. Ain't that just the way. Ain't that some shit. I'm guessing 14 probably... Yeah, by the sound of the typing. It does not succeed. Take 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. As one of the trees nearby <laughs> just pulls you up. Damn it! I'm and then you all hear Chetamir <laughs> and then look over and see Chetamir being suspended, like probably like on a two feet, three feet above the ground, kicking her legs, trying to pull out from it. The expression on her face is the- just like I definitely should have seen this coming. Um, Before. can I shoot at the vines while saying, "Oh." Cares, don't eat anything. You can try. Roll to hit. Does not hit. Whoa. Well, it gets close. 
Pen, why'd you break? I was just clicking you. Are you broke? <sighs> there you go. Moments pass, and uh... <laughs> Somebody gonna help? I'm gonna okay, like pull out a knife fine. and try to cut it. Take six more points of damage. Um, I, take, out. I take my new axe and chuck it at it. Chuck Put it out the vine. Roll it, roll it ahead. Uh, I think that hits. I think that hits as well. <laughs> Dang it, now you only listen, crits. Why don't you even bother putting this away at this point? Yeah, really. Now I need to have someone heal my throat because my throat is collapsing. Don't worry, I got spell slots. So yeah. Watch out, you turn around and look at Chenomir, like, kicking, trying to free herself. You wait a few moments, like, she can get out of it. She cannot get out of it. <laughs> Throw the hand axe. And it <laughs> uh, cleaves through the vine, and Chenomir, you <laughs> drop to the ground. <laughs> Pull the vine from off around your neck. The thorns on it just sort of prickling into your throat and everything. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. <laughs> Ow. Oh. I hope I you are you okay there, Kaz? Shut up. Paris, get out of I know. Uh, are you okay, Kaz? <laughs> <laughs> because I am okay. I'm not. Shut up. Uh, she Have some care ones. Thank you. She would also ones. ask if someone could check it out to make sure something didn't just try to inject into her fucking blood. Uh, roll, roll for it, uh, Taryn. Do 11 points. That. There you go. There you go. That's there you go, champ. Almost all of it, I think. Uh, yeah, I, can, 40... I can go grab that vine that just got cut down. Yeah. Uh, is it still moving? You go and grab it and touch it. It doesn't appear to be moving. Huh. Alright, I take it. <laughs> of course you do. We both know what was going to happen with that. Yeah, you take it. I'm literally writing my notes. I just got choked out by a vine like an idiot. <laughs> Marshall makes a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> That's literally one below. <laughs> I are you? I got missed it by one. Oh no, I missed it by two. He missed it by one. Okay, I'm not assaulting that. Okay, so as Marshall goes over to pick, goes underneath the tree to pick up the vine because that's where. Drop it off when you're just suspended by it. Uh, you take any points of bludgeoning damage and are pulled up into the air as well. If oh. I uh, if I attack it within melee range, is it gonna try to grab me too? Probably. There's potentiality. Chedmir has a spear that can reach ten feet. Could I just try that? Uh, Roll it. I. I have to have to roll decent. If that doesn't work, I would like to try some. Does twenty three? Oh, there you go. Does it? There you go. As you, you sort of hold your hand at the very bottom where the palm is, and just sort of like a scythe, trying to get maximum distance out of it, so you don't go underneath the tree again. <laughs> or no, this is Marshall. And then. <sighs> You've had worse, Marshall. You've had worse. You've had longer. Doesn't mean you like it, but, you know, you've had worse. Or do you? Alright, I take both the lines. <laughs> and you, you unravel the vibe from Look at it. Com me in a split second, you just mentally compare it versus the one you have. <laughs> this one's shorter. And then you walk away from the tree. <laughs> Take it out. Poke the vine. Nothing. Nothing happens. What's the inside of the vine look like? Um, so everything in this is like white, like externally, but in, from the internals or the cross section of this vine, it's red. It's like a, it's like a blood orange, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Cool. I, I put it on my neck. Red. Put it down your, as in on like. He said on, like a scarf. Oh, yeah, I just, okay. put it, just put it on my neck. I thought you said down. I was like, what, are you trying to vore this thing? What the fuck? <laughs> Tentacle shit? What the fuck? Yeah, so you just wrap it on your neck, just like... <laughs> okay, so... Probably good rule. 
don't go under the trees. Yeah. Good news and bad news. We figure out how to, you know, not get fucked by these trees. Bad news, there's more than one hanging tree. Could this be like... <sighs> yeah. Like, okay, so is this its offspring, or is this where they grow more to potentially spread it around? That's exactly what an offspring is. I want to know the answer to that, and I'm a bit afraid of either one. Or is Neither it is like good. the, like, clonal tree colonies where they clones of the trees grow kind of like from their roots after they've spread. Are you a maestro student? Because that sounds really freaking... Never mind. Nerdy? <laughs> I mean, a bit. Just a little bit. No offense. I'm just saying. Everyone's well, nerds in their own way. It's, if if this thing's capable of producing offspring like this, that says some bad things that the tree's capable of thinking that much. If someone's growing them, like, that means there's still cool. someone growing them. Which is just as bad. Yeah. Now how are you dice? This is bad. Is there okay, a... but it's been hundreds it's been hundreds of years though. Shouldn't this have been spread all over? That's a very good point. Why is it isolated? Still. Because it is an intensely magical thing and it takes a lot of energy to do, I assume. Maybe, Maybe it's codependent. Crystals? Nevi, grow nature. What is Maybe she? Maybe the crystals are a counter agent? No, because it feeds off the juice. What the fuck? Nevi takes some samples of the grass and just sort of just snips it. I mean, could it be codependent that the hanging tree needs the people as well? Mm. Yeah, it's gotta have a food source. Is there anything more than a sweat? Does Never Nevi... Wait, Does Nevi do anything besides just check out the shit? <laughs> it's a disadvantage. That's That makes it so sad. Z I mean, I'm the one that inflicted the disadvantage upon them, so... Give a fuck. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Nevi sort of like... at it. These things are very well groomed. She like rubs off, rubs like between her fingers. The oh, residue. this is on the testing side. I don't know. Something just doesn't seem right. Does it make sense? How? How so? If you wanted to grow a tree, you would why would you grow it underground? Because it doesn't need something. You want to grow anything. Wait. Mushrooms? Did Are they, they like a mushroom, you? like a fungi? That, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> Could if the hanging tree was Sorry, smart enough to... If it can choose where it brings its offspring, why would it put it here? And if someone grows them... Why wouldn't they move it to a better position? Yeah. Especially if they're strong enough to... <clears throat> and she sort of withers a bit, you know? Hmm. Because a big tree is a hard target, but a little tree is an easy one. I suppose. Maybe what? they're guiding something. Guarding something right now. Maybe. Well, what so if this moment. just the vines don't move? What if they are trying to make them so they can walk around or something? So at this moment, you guys hear a tumble. Sword and you shield. Hear, or hammer and shield. You hear rocks hitting rocks as they fall. You hear crystal grinding against the stone. Uh, you hear a thud. <laughs> you see a person. You see a person of unknown age, female, long hair, very frail, very weak. Not to the point that it looks like she's going to die within the next five minutes. Not the... eh, but she looks kind of fading. And growing from her are, is Crystal. It grows around her neck 
and tapers off like a scarf onto two appendages, tendrils, something like that. It sort of looks like a mantle, almost. It encapsulates her lower neck and her upper like, chest neck area. It just trails off like a fashionable scarf. Fashion. These appendages seem... Let me put you like this. It doesn't take Jimmy Neutron Boy genius to figure out that this crystal that she has, these red crystal around her neck, is is uh, that of the creatures and the cavern that you're dwelling, you're walking through right now. But there is a catch, a peculiar trait. The crystals of the cavern and of the creatures have a fragmented, shattered, sort of broken off, sort of unstable aesthetic to them. That is not the case for this woman. It is the crystal. First off, the crystal is the two appendages move. Secondly, it's all smooth. Smooth like a rock that's been in a river, you know, it's like it's just been smooth over. The appendages on her almost appear like chitinous plates from on like a centipede or something. This person eats shit and falls flat on her goddamn face. <laughs> triggering a series of rocks to not only crumble down from off the wall, but also like some just land on her, her crystals, stuff, her appendages on her. Not like <laughs> the boulders or anything, she's not getting crushed by stone, but yeah, just little bubbles. I run over and ask her if she's okay. She went over. Try to, uh, help her up. Yeah, like, oh my god, are you alright? Can we help you? She has a crazed look to her eyes. Delirious. And she just blinks at you. Oh, I thought sweet. you put oh. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Can no, you... not like that. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, though. I wanna walk. <laughs> I wanna walk up like close enough to her that I can see her well, but I'm still gonna kind of keep my distance, um, and see if like physically she looks okay from what I can tell. It is a bit dark in this way. The only light that projects into the room is emanates emits off the stream. There's no crystals in here providing light. Mm -hmm. Just the water, and it's relatively bright if it's illuminating the whole. So her crystalness isn't glowing? Um, it pulses. Okay. Uh, the neck piece part of it pulses. If it's kind of dark, my dancing- I would- I would cast dancing lights. It's not oh, dark, right. it's well lit. Okay. It's lit. Bam. Yeah. Is the- is the scarf, like, in- like, coming out of her neck? Oh, yeah. Or just around it? Is now, it- This thing's grown out of her. So, does it look the same as, I mean, obviously less expansive, but similar to the crystal that has been in, like, the other people who we have, or, like, things that we have come across? Similar, yes. It doesn't seem to... How do I describe this? The crystals that grow out of the creatures seem to, as I've described before, it's like cracking a fucking walnut. Mm -hmm. and not, it doesn't shatter yet, it's just cracked immensely. Yeah. That's what the creatures look like. Like, they look like a freaking popcorn kernel that is, you know, red crystal instead of popcorn. Her is not like that. It, you don't really easily, peculiarly see where the breakout point is. It just sort of emerges. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was asking, was, like, if it looked like it was forming differently on her. So, interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nowhere near as fragmented and chaotic. And so, I could... Stable. So I'm going to make the assumption now that she's not, because for a second I was thinking that maybe she was just in the early stages of becoming one of the undead monsters that we had already come across. No, like none of the undead monsters you've come across 
like it's just it's just essentially she has like not a tail but like multiple arms mm -hmm. like it actually gets to the point where she when she pulls herself up or pushes herself up with carries his help the appendage actually helps it pushes off the ground and helps her up as well oh boy a symbiotic relationship as opposed to parasitic how interesting Something, I don't something. say that. This is Taryn says that. Party. Sima does not. <laughs> something, something. We are Venom, etc., etc. Hey, you cast sense of motion. On second level, yes. Scared out of second level sense of motion. Okay.